The U.S. has imposed sanctions on close to 300 firms and individuals, including over 10 from India, accusing them of providing products that aided the Russian military. Spanish media has reported that a decision regarding India's P-75I submarine project could be announced soon. National Aerospace Laboratories has developed various algorithms for multi-target tracking using onboard sensors for Tejas Mark II and AMCA. Indigenous Quartz Radome for Tejas Mark II program is under testing on a test rig setup. The Indian Air Force has clarified that it has no current plans to locally manufacture the S-400, as the focus has shifted to procure 10 squadrons of indigenous Arad system. For the first time after the 2020 clash, Indian Army and Chinese Army exchanged suites across entire stretch of LAC yesterday. Garden Reach shipbuilders will hold the key laying ceremony for the first and second next generation offshore patrol vessels for the Indian Navy. The Special Forces of Indian Army and US Army will conduct 15th edition of Exercise Vajra Prahar 2024 at the Orchard Combat Training Center in Idaho from tomorrow. The RDO is all set to start testing a new 600 horsepower engine on the WAP that will replace the 600 horsepower American Cummins engine. Tato Advanced Systems has made a significant impression at the Marika Chair Show 2024 by showcasing its SWAP 8x8 infantry combat vehicle. India is aiming to produce approximately 514 new fighter jets domestically over the next two decades, but India still faces a critical challenge ensuring a reliable supply of engines to power them. France has said that the 110 kN engine that will be jointly developed by Safran and the RDO for the AMCA can also be equipped on the Tejas Mark II if India wants to move away from the American F-414 engine. Discussions are underway between Safran and the RDO on arriving at a set of specifications that complies with the country's future fighter jet requirements. Despite delays in the supply of F-404 engines from General Electric, Hindustan Aeronautics is pushing forward with the production of the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. HAL has completed 14 airframes for the Mark 1A and is prepared for final assembly as soon as the engine supply resumes. This proactive stance allows the company to have a significant backlog of completed airframes, which can be fitted with engines and avionics systems rapidly, once the supply chain issues resolve. HAL also plans to use older engines to test these airframes, ensuring operational readiness and quality standards without holding back production. According to latest information, the RDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment has completed the design phase of the indigenous 105mm gun for the Jorawa light tank, and an industrial partner has been selected to commence the fabrication process. Once the trials are successful, it will be integrated into the Jorawa light tank prototype to replace the Cockerill 105mm HP gun, which is a widely used NATO standard system. Following the American proposal to locally produce the striker in India, Russia has countered the offer with its boomerang wheeled armored personnel carrier and wheeled infantry fighting vehicle, that are based on the boomerang unified combat platform. The boomerang features an 8x8 wheel drive construction, and is powered by a 750 horsepower diesel engine and has an operational range of 800 kilometers. Today's top 3 comments.